just a few days ago on the community tab, I put up a poll or actually asked you if you'd like to ask me a few questions about what's going on in my life. One of the questions immediately hit me kind of like, wow, I didn't realize that that was actually happening to me. And I really thought that it would be a good topic for today's video is that help for menopausal hair or aging hair or hair that we feel like we can't manage. I, about two years ago, maybe a little bit longer than that, I had cut most of my hair off and I was wearing a shorter hairstyle, which I really did enjoy. But recently, a lot of you have commented on how much my hair has grown. And so I wanted to talk to you about how I've kind of turned around my hair loss and my hair looking so dry and damaged and what has really helped my hair. And yes, this is going to be very much about product, but I'm gonna give you some tips also on what I have done to turn around my hair as I've have had so many problems. Now, as many of you know, I've been through a surgery. I lost my dad. I had COVID. I had COVID three times so far. So I know that COVID can very much affect your hair and other things in your body because I've had some other things happen with my heart and whatnot. But my skin and my hair health and my fingernail health kind of just went down the crapper. So what I did was I started to to research a lot about hair health. And as I'm researching it, you know, and you find out that this is just dead hair, the growth comes from your scalp, from those follicles. So you have to nurture this dead hair in order for it to be able to get longer. You also have to nurture those follicles. You have to also look inside yourself to find out what you can do inside. So I tackled my hair on all three fronts and my skin and my nails on all three fronts and I was, uh, am still really working on those. I do only wash my hair when it gets very oily. Now, sometimes that will be every other day. Sometimes it will be every fifth day. It just really depends. In the warmer weather, I, can, I can't get away with washing my hair every fifth day. I have to wash it like every third day or every other day, depending on how much I'm sweating or what I'm doing. That's the first thing. Let your hair go as long as it possibly can. Make sure that you're not using any more heat products on it than you have to. And that is one thing that I would say that if you use a curling iron, if you use a blow dryer that's super hot, you use one of those round brushes that is a blow dryer, I would tell you to only use that kind of heat on your hair about every fourth to fifth day if you can get away with it. Find ways to put your hair up, find ways to extend your style, do everything you can to only use heat on your hair, maybe once, twice a week. If you can get away with twice a week, that's great. Don't use it every day. Every day is definitely going to be a killer for your hair, especially if you're menopausal. Our hair is so dry after menopause. The next thing I would say is make sure that you're using a lot of moisture on your hair. Now, if you have fine limp hair like mine, you don't wanna weigh it down, but there are a lot of really great products out there that won't lay, won't weigh it down. I want you to look into getting the Bond Repair. Now, Olaplex is very, number three, is very expensive, but they have one from L'Oreal Ever Pure that is basically the Bond Strengthening Conditioner. It's the same thing, but this costs a very fraction of the cost. I think that you will really notice a difference as far as it being much more healthy. This is a pre-shampoo product. All you have to do is wet your hair down go ahead and put the product on i do this before i get into the shower and then after i've let it sit on there it says to only do it for like 10 minutes i actually let mine sit for like a half an hour to an hour i you have to make sure that it's staying wet so i'll put it up in one of those turby towels and it does keep it moist and yet you can go ahead and keep it on for a really long time it's really sinking in really well and the benefits of it are fantastic so i definitely want to recommend that you do something that's giving a ton of moisture you're going to want to do a really good conditioner you can do a light conditioner when you're in the shower and then you can do a heavier conditioner a couple of times a week one of the ones that i use uh once or twice a week probably more like once a week is the macadamia natural oil deep repair mask this is when you do in shower you leave it on and i actually only do it about halfway and then do it all the way down to the tips of my hair but i make sure that i do this so that it really does give that heavy moisture at least once a week and then when you put that extra moisture into your hair 
you're help, helping your hair health. Now, when you get out of the shower, if you just let your hair air dry and you don't put anything else on it, you're gonna find that all of that moisture that you've just put on it, it's gonna wick away. So you're gonna wanna use some sort of a leave-in treatment. I know that L'Oreal has some really inexpensive ones and they're really good. I have used It's a 10 for years and years. This is the one with keratin. Keratin is the building blocks of our hair. So I just spray this into my the palm of my hand, four or five sprays. I rub it together and then I work it all through my hair and I don't go down to the scalp, but I work it all through the actual hair itself. And you have to lock in that moisture. Otherwise, when you use a blow dryer, it's all gonna go away and you don't want that. By the way, if you are doing blow drying a lot, you're gonna wanna use a really good blow dry spray. I don't have mine in front of me through the move. I couldn't find it. It is again from Redken. I use this very lightly because this will weigh my hair down. So I will put that up on the screen. And then also something that it must be with is what I use for a spray when I'm actually doing my curling iron. And that is my Kenra leave-in treatment. And I think it's number 18. I can't remember what number it is. I'll just put a picture of it up here on the screen so that you can see it. That's a really good one when you're using a lot of heat with a curling iron or cur or a straightener or whatever you use if you're going to curl your hair. That's what I use. Again, those are just absolutes for me. I will not be without them. Now, when my hair was in the active really falling out stage, I had to do something because all of the hair around here, it was just like disappearing. My hairline was receding further and further back. My hair looked straggly. It looked very thin. And so that's why I ended up cutting it. But in the process of that, I did find this one from DS Laboratories that is a hair growth supplement. Now this isn't super inexpensive, but I did get it on Amazon for like the subscribe and save. And it works out to be a lot less. This is the Spectral rs anti-thinning hair treatment this does not have minoxidil in it our hair will shed our hair is goes through the growth stage and then it goes through the resting stage and then it goes through the shedding stage so we will shed hair that just happens to us uh, through its natural cycle, but usually other hairs are growing, you know, so it kind of staggers itself. Some are growing, some are resting, and some are falling out, so you're not showing so much of a shed, but you know, in the case of some people, their hair all falls out at once. So I did have to go and use something like this. This is fabulous. I noticed little bitty hair growth after a month, and I was just so blown away. And now I have hair that's like this long, and then I have hair that's like this long, and then I have my longer hair. So this does work very, very well. And I would highly recommend this. Now they do have a shampoo, they have a conditioner, they have different treatments. And you know, you can go through and find out what works best for you or what you sounds like what is going on with your hair. I used to use minoxidil, but I found that when I stopped using minoxidil, the growth that I had achieved would fall out. So you have to continue to use minoxidil or you lose what you've gained from that. This one has a great nozzle. It goes right down onto the scalp and then I would, I would just work it in with my fingers. They do have one of those scalp massagers and I will put that up on the screen for you so you can see it. This is a really great tool that I was using every single night as far as massaging my scalp and bringing the blood supply to the scalp in order to keep the follicle really healthy. And I didn't use this every night because there are some days when I'm doing my hair and I have a lot of product in my hair and if I spray this on there, at night in the morning i'm going to need to wash my hair so i was only using this probably every third day because i was washing my hair every third day so i'd use it at night before i went to bed use the massager which i use the massager because it doesn't have any product anyway use the massager every night it will really help you but i was putting this on every third night using the massager getting up so my hair was resting for you know eight to ten hours and using it again before i got in the shower so this is a good really good product i have not found any extra hair loss after i stopped using it so much like right now i'm only using this maybe every week um, once a week instead of using it every third day. So this is a good product and it's not going to have you losing your hair after just a little while of non-use. Okay, I want to talk to you about what I changed as far as my supplements because this is really where I feel like lately I really 
it's everything is jumped ahead now you all know that i had surgery and i was so nervous about what was going to happen during surgery because i knew that this was a surgery that was going to take me a very long time to recover from and i was right <laughs> i really still am feeling the effects of that and that was clear back in january and then i had to have a follow-up one which i'll talk to you all about later i had to have follow-up surgery in april we'll talk about that at another time but i was so nervous that i wanted the very best vitamins that i could possibly get so i went for these ones that are all over social media it's the mary ruth's and sorry about the mess on here moving again liquid morning vitamin and this is non-gmo vegan dairy free gluten free sugar free and family friendly friendly franny energy beauty immunity this is the raspberry one i'm i don't like the raspberry one as much as i like the other one i can't remember whether it's strawberry or tropical punch this one doesn't taste as good to me however i am using this one up and i'll get the other one later this is a, a month supply maybe a little bit longer and so it's not super inexpensive but i wanted something that was going to do the job for me really well i wanted to invest in myself because i felt like if i was going through that surgery i i wanted everything to come back and i wanted to be as strong as i was before i needed energy i needed to be able to recover our bodies need vitamins and minerals and all those good yummy things to be able to recover from that kind of heavy surgery and i wanted to give myself the best chance i could so this is the one one of the things that i started right around that time back in january and then this is another thing that i started and this is trace minerals this is a 96 day three month supply of trace mineral drops full spectrum daily liquid drops for hydration energy ph balance and digestion i would take this one you're supposed to take a quarter cup of this i would actually dump a few drops of this into my quarter cup and then fill it up the rest of the way with this and just douse it because this stuff right here tastes nasty it's like i don't know the worst mineral salty taste you could ever taste and i didn't want to drag that out in a cup of juice or anything like that so i just put the two together because this doesn't taste the greatest either it's not bad at all but you know this kind of masks the taste of the trace minerals and then i took my tumbler this is my tumbler that i have with me everywhere i go i took my tumbler and I put collagen in it every morning. This one, this Skinny Fit Super Youth Peach Mango Flavor, this is the multi-collagen peptides. It has type one, two, three, five, and 10 in it. So it has all five different kinds of collagen that you're taking internally. Now remember the collagen molecule, it can't penetrate our skin. So if you're using collagen cream, you're not doing anything. It's just a cream that's falling off your skin. Nothing's happening, but taken internally, it can penetrate into our bodies, go through the digestive system and go where it needs to go to help us. So that's the third thing that I was doing to help myself. And then the other half of this, so I drink two to three of these a day. So the second one of these I fill up during the day, I put this into and I just happened upon this. Nobody talked about this. I happened upon it and I'm like, this is going to be something good. This is RSP, Clean Active Nutrition, Amino Lean, SG Amino Acids, Anytime Energy, Weight Management, Mental Focus. Now, what got me about this was the energy part and the mental focus. After that surgery, I was feeling like I was in a deep fog all the time and no energy whatsoever. I still am having a problem with my energy level. It's coming back, but it really, you do feel like you're in a very deep fog. So you put two little scoops of this. There are a ton, 70 servings in here, which is really good because this bottle is not that much, but it is really great for me for helping me to get that energy level way up. I'm not necessarily noticing too much of the mental focus somewhat that's coming back as I rest. So I think that those two kind of go hand in hand. All of those four things put together, and that's why I'm telling you all of this, has made my hair start to grow like crazy. Now, when I started into this journey four months ago, I did not feel like my hair was shiny and I am not in a good color right now as far as my hair goes. My hair is not in the exact color that I want it to because I didn't want to go anywhere and have it done and sit in a chair for three or four hours. But 
I have been coloring it myself and it hasn't lost any of its luster. I feel like the ends are still very healthy. My hair is just doing very, very well. Not just because of what I do to it topically, which I do feel like that really lends itself to your hair health. I feel like that's a huge thing, but I feel like it's these four supplements. If I could say anything about anything, it would be these four supplements have really turned my hair and my nails around. So doing those few things as far as topically goes, and then also making sure that I was getting all the nutrition I needed internally. I feel like they're invaluable for my hair health, and so I'm gonna make sure I keep all of them up. I don't necessarily wanna grow my hair really long. I never have been able to do that since I was really young because my hair is thinner and it is fine, and there's not a lot I can do about that. That's genetics. You know, you can get your hair as healthy as you possibly can get it, but you can't really change the chemistry of your hair or how thick your hair is or anything like that. You have a certain amount of follicles you have a certain texture to your hair that kind of thing so i hope that you did enjoy seeing how i've turned my hair around in these past few months and how i've really been treating my hair every bit as well as the skincare that i use on my face and i hope that you did enjoy seeing all of this if you have any questions please let me know down in the comment section and i'll be happy to answer as many as i possibly can is there anything that you personally do for your hair that you feel like is invaluable to your hair health i would love to hear that from you and I'm always getting great suggestions from you guys and it makes my day to be able to converse with you as well. So thanks so much for being here with me. I hope you're all doing really well. Please come back around for my next video and we'll be together very, very soon. Take care of yourselves. I love you much. Bye-bye.